It was a dark and stormy day. I was minding my own business like I always do when I saw them enter my office. The ladies looked mighty scared and worried. They came up to my desk in a strung out gaggle. I looked up from my papers. The lady in the front of the group looked at me with fearful brown eyes and said in a trembling voice, Oh, Mr. Detective, we need your help. I looked them dead in the eye and said, What can I do for you ladies? The mayor in the back piped up, her voice shrill with concern. Oh, Mr. Detective, our foes. Her voice cracked and she had to pause before she could continue. Oh, Mr. Detective, our foes are being sold cheese sticks and it's impacting them in such a dreadful way. It's making them crazy. You must help us. I think I can help you, ladies, I said. It was time to begin what I do best, detectiving. I began the case like I always do, down by the docks. I didn't see anything at first, but then, out of the corner of my eye, I saw it. A half-empty box of cheese sticks. That's when I knew I was dealing with the real thing. Later in the day, I was sniffing around my favorite pub. Mr. Large, the owner, wasn't around, so I asked the barista if she knew anything about the cheese stick racket. She was a real hot shot, but I'd always known she was trouble. After a few minutes of conversation and a bit of persuasion, she told me where the next set of clues were. But when I arrived in the alley, I was jumped by the thugs. It was set up. Luckily, I had my trusty six-shooter and was able to escape with my life and the final clues I needed. That night, I set my trap and waited. Not five minutes later, the culprit took the bait. I burst out from behind my cover and my trusty six-shooter aimed at his back. Mr. Large, I said. The owner of my favorite pup turned to look at me, his large face livid with anger. How did you know it was me? He whispered hoarsely. I smiled. The clues were all there. I had just put them together. When I went to the docks that your shipments arrive at, I saw a cheese stick box. At your pub, the barista told me to go to Parmesan Alley. There, I was jumped by some thugs. After I fought them off, I noticed they all had takeout bags from your pub with their payments in them. And I had already known from that package at the docks that this is where the cheese sticks were headed. Then, suddenly, there was a gunshot. <laughs> Mr. Large had tried to pull a fast one on me. But I was ready and my bullet hit first. Later that day, Mr. Large's cheese sticks were destroyed and I attended his funeral. I had solved the case and the foals were safe at last. During the funeral, the barista approached me one last time. This is all your fault. Why'd you have to go and shoot my ticket out of this horrid one-horse town? Since you could never love me for who I am, I had to leave. I just had to. Mr. Lodge and this cheese stick rack was my only way out. And then you went and shot him. Journal entry closed. This is my fault. <laughs> Got too boring for daddy.